Hi, welcome to another episode of Little Devotions. My name is Karis Roller. I am a uh, Catholic wife, mother, and artist. And this is my son, Jude Roller. Uh, we are going to attempt to do an uh, image of the Divine Mercy and a little art lesson for all of my students out there that I can't be with right now. I miss you guys so much. So we're going to make a little copy of that because it's one of my favorite devotions. What time do you pray this, Jude? What is the hour of mercy? We just did it. The divine hour? The divine hour. It's called the three o'clock hour, the, the mercy hour. And what we want to do is pray the divine mercy at that time. Sister Faustina, Maria Faustina Kowalska, is the little nun that Jesus appeared to in 1931 and gave this beautiful devotion to. So this is her diary. This is a really nice copy of it. It's leather bound and it's got little thin Bible pages. There's another image of it. The sides so, of them are golden. Yeah, it is beautiful. So the image, just looking at the image, you get graces, but also there's a little chaplet that goes along with it, which we do pray at 3 o'clock. So, and Jesus said that whoever prays my chaplet will stand between... At, at, who's, whoever prays this in the presence of a dying person, Jesus said that I will stand between them and my Father, not as the just judge, but as a merciful Savior. So anytime um, somebody's dying, we try to pray this beside their bedside, okay? So it's very important. And right now, we are putting these in our windows to be in solidarity during our quarantine time and to ask Jesus' mercy on our homes. So instead of putting blood on the lintels of our doorposts like the Egyptians or the uh, um, Hebrews did so that Egypt, the angel of death would skip over them, um, we're putting the divine mercy in our windows. So let's begin. We're going to start with supplies. What we'll need, and you'll just pause it to go, get, go gather all this stuff. If you have a ruler, we need a ruler. We need a quarter and a dime. You'll need some colored pencils. If you don't have colored pencils, you can get some crayons. That's fine. Or markers. Or markers. That's fine too. And a couple pencils and an eraser. So do you go ahead and grab a and quarter? A of course. Paper. This is just printer paper, but if you have nicer paper, we of course would love for you to use that. So we're going to take a quarter and we're going to start by drawing, tracing the quarter towards the top of your paper here, Jude. Up a little higher. Good. That's going to be Jesus' head. Follow that around, just like that. Then, yeah, you gotta kind of move away so she can see, so we can video. So then below that, we're gonna draw a little line like this. And then you're gonna do probably two quarter lengths below that. So put the quarter there and then slide it down. And then another line below that, below your and draw nice and light would be good. Don't No, don't go over your lines. Just draw it once and then be done, okay? Because we're probably going to erase some of this. Don't worry about it. Then we're going to go all the way down to the bottom. We're going to put our quarter right all the way at the bottom. We're going to draw a line down there, too, just so that's going to be the bottom of our, our picture. Good. All right, very good. And now we're going to put those away. We're going to grab a dime. I'm going to take the dime, and I'm going to put it right beside what is going to be Jesus' head. And I'm going to... Yeah, here, I'll just trace it like this, like that. And then just a sec, Jude, I'll give you the dime. And then we're going to put this one where his heart would be. And actually, I'm just going to go ahead and draw, Jude, pay attention to me. I want you to follow along. Don't, don't go ahead. I'm going to draw a little heart where his heart would be below the line. And then I'm going to draw the dime right beside that little heart, like that. Here you go, Jude. Here's the dime. Now you can start. That's right. That's a good little heart. Go ahead and look at Jude's now. Draw it right by the head, up a little bit right there. Perfect. Now, as we go along, if you need to pause the video so that you can erase or do whatever you need to do, please do that. Don't try to keep up with us if, you, if you're falling behind. And then do the other one right there. Yep. Why is there one right here? That's going to be his other hand. All right, are we ready? Next step, what I wanna do is I wanna draw the 
this little neck is going to be a little bit curvier. So we're just going to draw that neck. I'll take the quarters so they don't jingle while we're doing our video. Can you draw a little kind of smiley face, just a soft little U on that first line? Mm -hmm. Good, you. Now we can erase the other line. We don't need that anymore, the bottom one. Mm -hmm. Just do it real quick for the video, okay? Don't waste any time. Mm -hmm. Very good, perfect. All right, our next step is going to be Jesus' hair. You ready, Jude? So we're going to take a line. We're going to part his hair down the middle. We're going to go over our circle and below our circle just a little bit. Good. Next step, we're going to take this, or the bottom bottom of our line, and we're going to cut through, and we're going to take it all the way down to the, this line we made down here. Mm -hmm. Just curve it around it a little bit and down. Perfect. Now we're going to go to the other side. We're going to curve it around and then go down to our line, or beside our line. Good. I'm going to help you curve yours just a little bit more. Like that, nice and curved. Can you erase that line for me? And then we're gonna take the top of our line, we're gonna bring that down, we're gonna go all the way down. And right at the bottom, we're just gonna do some little cur little bumps because that's gonna be the bottom of his hair. Nice and curvy, good Jude, good. And now we're doing the top one, start here and go around. Good, good, and then we're gonna go to the other side and, and we're gonna come all the way down. Now watch the bottom, Jude. You can just kind of bump it. It doesn't have to be perfect at all. Excellent. Good. And we have this circle under there. It doesn't really matter. We can just leave it there because we're going to color with color pencils at the end. Now, in the middle of that space, we're going to draw the eyes. Now, first of all, we're just going to draw little circles. But wait, there's one more thing I want to talk about. Remember, students, that I always teach you to leave a little bit of light in the eyes for the light of Christ living in you with your baptismal promise. So we're going to leave a little bit of white. Good, Jude. Inside there. That's great. Next step, we're going to draw a little, just not quite a rainbow. I don't want them too big. We're just going to go over right across the top, just like that. Good, Jude. Can you scoot just over just a little bit? Because when we're doing the video, when you lean forward, it makes a shadow. Thanks, sweetheart. Now we're going to go under like this, under the eyes. Jude, can you go under the eyes also? Nice. And then we're going to draw some eyebrows, another arch. These are a little bit straighter up there, right above the eyes. Good. A little bit here. We're going to go over. Remember, that line was erased. We're going to make a little bit more space for this other eye right there. Okay, good. Oh, here's your other eyebrow. I erased it on accident. There you go. Now, we're going to draw a little spot where the nose is going to be. Remember, the nose goes down in between this middle space, a little bit lower than middle. So that's going to be the bottom of our nose, and then the mouth is going to be down here. Jude, can you draw the nose and the mouth just a little bit? It's not a straight line. It's just kind of a slight curve. Good, we're going to draw a little bit. Lower here and then there. Good. Next step, we're going to connect the eyebrow to the bottom of the nose. But watch this, Jude. Can you watch, moms? We're going to go down right by the eye and we're going to flare out just a little bit. Oh, touching the eyes almost. Like that. Good, Jude. It doesn't want to come all the way in right there. So here, look at Jude's real quick, please. This get a little bit too close right there, so we're going to separate it and pull it down and touch the edge of that nose. We can erase the middle so we have the bridge. Good? Is that good, Jude? Good. Next, we're going to do Jesus' mustache, which just is a little bit at the bottom of the nose. We're going to go side and down to our, the bottom of our circle, like that. Good. Now we're going to thicken that a little bit and bring it down some more. Go right around his little mouth. Good. Now we're going to do a W. Watch this W. Are you guys ready? We're going to start at here by the hair and we're going to go, let me think about this. I want to go down and then up a little bit right under the mouth and then down again and then back up to the beard. This is the top of the bottom of the beard. Good, Jude. Now we're going to do another W below that. Are you ready? We're going to leave a little bit of space right here. We're going to go down and then back up. Watch me again. Watch me again and make it kind of a mimic at that. Can you watch Jude do it? Yeah. 
Good. And now we're going to, his beard was curly, so we're going to curl it just in that little space. Uh-oh, my dog's barking. She must see another dog. Oh, no. We'll just leave it, yeah. Now we're going to make the hair curly, too. So we're going to do that curly hair all the way down. This does not have to be shaded in all the way because we are going to use brown on it. Right, Jude? Mm -hmm. I think mine looks a little Byzantine with the shape of the eyes. When uh, Sister Faustina was commissioned by Jesus to have this painting done, when the artist showed her what it looked like, she cried because she said the artist couldn't capture how beautiful Jesus was. I always think that's sweet. So there's my hair. Very good. And let's see Jude's over there. I did those circles. I love it. Good. Now we're going to finish the neck. Watch the neck, Jude. Watch this. We're going to take it a little bit out like this from the hair, and then you can draw some hair back there. There's his. This is the top of his tunic. Okay, next step. Are you ready? We did Jesus' face. Now we're going to do his hands. The hands are so hard, but remember, art students, how I taught you how to draw mittens first. So Jude, ready for the mitten? Watch, watch me first. Ready? We're going to start here and we're going to do, we're going to follow our edge here. We're going to cut off that part of the circle and then we're going to cut it off here too so it kind of cuts down in the middle. We're going to go almost all the way down. So just kind of slight curved lines. Good. Now, we're going to curve back up. We're going to make the thumb. Ready? Watch this. We're going to go up and then pull it down. That's going to be his little thumb. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Try not to make it too pointy. Excellent. Now we're going to erase our circle because we don't need that anymore out there. Good. Good. And it'll be just a little bit more pointy at the top. Very good. Next step, we're going to do the other hand. Now this hand is sideways. And you see his little heart here? He's touching that. So watch this, Jude. We're going to cut off the side like this. Look at mom. See that? Good. Curve those lines a little bit. You actually want to curve it the other way. We're going to curve it this way. So can you erase that a little bit? Can you erase this piece? And the outside. Let's erase the outside also. Good. Now I'll erase mine. Good. So that's going to be his hand. Now we're going to do the loops of his tunic. And if we can look at the actual picture here. See these loops coming down? That's where his hands are going to come from. And here's an image of mine that I did in preparation. And here we go. Ready? Watch this, Jude. I'm going to stop on the side of his hand. And I'm going to do a loop down. And then I'm going to loop it right back up by the thumb. Can you do that? Loop it down. And come right back up by the thumb. Perfect. Now we're going to do the other hand. So look, this is the top of his hand. Do you see right here? So I'm going to start at the top of the hand. And I'm going to loop down, and then I'm going to go back up to kind of the, the other bottom of the hand. Go ahead, you try. And then back up to the side. Great. Okay, now we're going to draw the flare out here. See that right there? It's kind of a curvy line, isn't it? So watch this. Ready? I'm going to start right where my tunic meets my hand, and I'm going to go down. I'm going to curve it and bring it a little bit lower than my loop and bring it back up. Doesn't make much sense now, but it will when we're finished. Very good. Then the other side, this right here, see this loop right here? It's going it to go back with the hand and then down. Wow. Yeah, so watch this. Now, wait a sec. Watch mom. I'm going to go on top of this. I'm going to go back and then loop down and back up. Very good, Jude. All right, I think I'm going to erase just this little bit on yours for a second. He looks like he has a scratch on his head from our picture before, but that's okay. Next step, we're gonna draw the shoulder. The shoulder comes down, and this shoulder goes right over a little bit and then down. Can you draw, don't worry about that yet, Jude, because we're gonna color in that in a minute. Can you draw the shoulder and then down? Almost to the edge. So go over and then down. Perfect, and now draw this piece right here. Mm -hmm. Good. All right, now we've got a, we drew this line here because that's gonna be the bottom of his tunic. So this tunic goes all the way up to here. So we're gonna curve it over to that line. Well, here's your line right here. 
perfect, Jude. Great. Now, we don't have to draw the bottom of the tunic because his rays cover up. See this, Maura? See how the rays cover over most of the bottom of his tunic? So we're actually going to grab the ruler and we're going to make those rays radiate. Are you ready? Now, the first ray starts up here. Make the ruler go all the way up to his heart and then to the edge of your paper. If I draw a dot, can you line up that dot in the heart with the ruler? Good. Do you want me to hold it so you can draw the line, or, you got, or do you have it? It's at a half and 20. Okay, very good. Go ahead and draw that line. Perfect. Good. Now we're going to slide over a little bit. Here, let's put the ruler up high so you can move it. We're going to draw another dot down here, and that's where we want to line up with his heart and that dot. Ready? Set. Go. Good job. I like the sound effects. Now the other side is going to come off the paper right here. So you want a dot there and a dot here. So go ahead and line up the heart and your dots, Jude. Perfect. Go ahead. Good. And now, Jude, when Longinus, the soldier, pierced Jesus in the heart with his spear, what came out of Jesus' heart? Blood and water. Blood and water. The blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus is a fount of mercy for us. I trust in thee, right? Oh, I gotta do mine. I forgot. Yeah, but it can't pour on us. Well, see, it can't pour. We get <laughs> we get something better than Longinus. We get to receive the precious blood of Jesus. He wishes he could have had that. All right, so there's my rays. There we go. So there's our rays coming out. Now we're going to draw his feet. Are you ready? I'm going to draw my this ray a little bit in further so I don't have so much tunic at the bottom. I'm going to redo my lines. Uh oh, you dropped your pencil. Grab it, bud. So at the bottom, as you can see in this drawing, it's kind of a, an M, a really soft M. And I'm going to pull his feet from there. So watch this. Me first, you ready? Here's my bottom line that I drew. And I'm going to start here, and I'm going to go up a little bit, and then down, and then up and down again. Mm -hmm. And you can erase the other line that you made. You don't need that anymore. Great job, Jude. I'm going to put this up in the window. Next step, I'm going to draw those little feet poking out. So I'm going to draw this little foot. Now watch this, Jude. It's kind of like a sideways loop. That's going to be a split. Good. Then this foot's kind of straight on, so it's going to be it's kind of stepping towards us. It's going to be straight. Just a loop. Good job. And let Morris see yours. Very good. Next, we're going to draw some wrinkles in his bottom, the bottom of his tunic. So ready? Here we go. We're going to slide up to our belt. I turn my I turn my pencil sideways, so I slide gently up to the belt. Very nice. And do do another one where another fold would be. Oh, that's perfect. And let's stop right there at the belt. Good. Now we've got some wrinkles coming up in his shirt too, so we can take those up like that if we wanted to. Now we've got to make some wrinkles in his, his some folds in his arm. Now, what, wait, there's one more thing I want to do with no, the arm. Watch like this. this. Watch this. Wherever the thumb comes from, that's going to come all the way down into his sleeve. Now it looks like his hand's popping out of his sleeve, doesn't it? Can you start right here? Here's his thumb. And bring it down right there. Perfect. Kind of erased a little bit of his hand and now this hand see that hand there it goes back into the tunic like this right there okay so here's my hands here's this arm coming down and I can re erase that are you ready this is the hardest part and it even took me a long time to figure this one out this is the fingers are you ready because right now it looks like he's like waving at us like this right hi but he's actually giving us a blessing so that blessing it's really hard to get those fingers right. So one finger, are you ready for this? It's not like a normal mitten like this, where the fingers would be like that, okay? These fingers are crisscrossed over. So we're just gonna try to do this. If, you, if this frustrates you, don't worry about it. Watch this very carefully, ready? I'm gonna take my pencil and I'm gonna slide in. So I'm cutting his hand a little bit. Now watch, this is actually gonna be his pinky. Can you try that? Ready? Take it right here and slide it in. Good, now do a little loop right there and make it his pinky. Good, now, now we've gotta draw the next finger, which is this ring finger. There's another, another finger. Can you draw another little finger on top of that one? Real tiny little loop 
Those are so hard. Now we're gonna do a little bit longer finger. And then his other finger, yes, now watch this. He's got one more finger, and guess where it's pointing? Where is it pointing? Look at the image. Up. Up to his father, that's right. So it makes it go up. Now we gotta take, now watch, after I've pointed that finger up, I'm gonna take it down and tuck it in his tunic, and let me erase the back hand, the back of that. Tuck it right down into his tunic. Good job. Now we gotta erase this part right here because now it doesn't make any sense because his, his hand is sideways. It's a good start. Mommy will probably work on that some more to make it. Hands are super hard. Yep, do you agree, Jude? Yes. All right. Our next step is gonna be the other hand. Are you guys ready? Here we go, Jude, ready? Let's get focused, don't write on the ruler. Or the <laughs> eraser. So watch this. This little this little finger, can you show him here, Maura? This little finger is tucked in. So we're gonna take it right here. Watch mine, watch mom's. And we're gonna tuck it in just like that. Nope. Perfect. Good, the next one is kinda hidden like that. Good, good start. And then the other one is pointing right at his heart. So we're just gonna make it go like that. Now you should have one, two, three lines. If you put a fourth line, it'll look weird. It'll look like he has five fingers and no thumb, okay? Very good, so he's, he's pointing at his heart and it's radiating out. Okay, now our next step is to color it. Are you ready to color? I'm gonna erase all the stuff that I don't need by the rays. Mm -hmm. Now, this is the blood, the precious blood that's pouring out upon us. And this reminds us of the water of baptism. So we have the blood of the cross and the water of baptism. Now this normally should be white, like in the image, but we put a little bit of blue in it so it pops it out and shows it, okay? And Jesus is wearing a white tunic, but we used a, a little bit of a softer... Lemony. Lemony color, I like that. Lemony or beige color to make it so it's colorful, okay? So we're gonna start with Jesus's brown hair. Go ahead, here you go. And you can color it gently, and you might wanna curve it, give it some texture even though you did that with, oh, you're gonna go sideways. Very artistic. As long as you can stay in the lines, right? Are you done? Good, now I want you to color his hands and his face. Oh, well, you forgot his beard. Do his beard too. Beauty. Good job, all right over here. Great job, now we need the flesh color. Color the flesh color. Oh, here, let me erase that little bit for you. All right. His hands. Good, and his other hand. Great job, and his little toes. Very nice. Now we should do the tunic. Now it's not quite yellow, so you don't want to cover it, color it too heavy. We just do it and don't color it on the rays, okay? Mm -hmm. Ready, set, go. Are you need a video now? Mm -hmm. Nice, Jude. Good, if you turn your colored pencil sideways like Jude has, it'll go a little bit faster in the coloring. It looks like marshmallow gold. Mm-hmm. That's the color we like our marshmallows. It's true. I can I can make mine like perfectly mushy on the inside. Mm -hmm. I make amazing marshmallows. I didn't even know how to cook them until I met your dad. I used to just burn them every time. Look here, he's a black, he's a black marshmallow. All right. While Jude is coloring his divine mercy. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and pray the Divine Mercy. And you guys can pray along at home. All 
All right. We just need regular rosary beads. And we're going to start with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. That's my special rosary. It is. This is actually a Divine Mercy rosary. Can you see that? It's a very special one. It is very special. I was Mrs. Even Linda made this for you. Mrs. I Linda. wasn't even supposed to get it at the age I was at. Yep, it's a First Communion Rosary that you got early because you were, you said you'd pray it, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. We start with the Our Father. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effective grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity. Now at the hour of our death, amen. And then we start with the I believe. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I, I believe, believe in the Holy Spirit, Spirit the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, we offer up to thee the body, blood, soul, and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. And atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, we offer up to thee the body, blood, soul, and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. And atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, we offer up to thee the body, blood, soul, and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. And for our sins and those of the whole world. Oh, I'm sorry, I got distracted. <laughs> sorry about that. I got distracted teaching Jude and trying to pray. We're back to, for the sake of his sorrowful passions. <laughs> Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, we offer up to thee the body, blood, soul, and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. And atone for our sins and those of the whole world. Okay, I'm going to pause there just a second. Don't, don't pause the video, but just keep going. Hey, Judah, I just want to show you a quick trick, and we'll keep praying. What we're going to do is we're going to use our eraser. We're going to erase some of that so it really looks like it's shining down, just like streaks of shining down, okay? And you can use nice pencil strokes, too, to do that. Go ahead. And... My eraser is like color. Yes, as you notice in my image, in my coloring of it. Oops, I got a shadow. What we want to do is erase the top part and let it fade down into the blue so we get a, a variation in the blue. And then we, we did a little bit of yellow around the burst. I also did some darker browns on the sleeves and up pencil marks and um, darker brown on the folds. Okay. For the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Just the background now. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. 
For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. To the eternal Father, we offer up to thee the body, blood, soul, and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. And atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, we offer up to thee the body, blood, soul, and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Mm-hmm. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, we offer up to thee the body, blood, soul, and divinity. Go ahead, it's okay. Of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. Holy God, holy and mighty one, holy and immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy and mighty one, holy and immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy and mighty one, holy and immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Jesus, I trust in thee. Jesus, I trust in thee. Jesus, I trust in thee. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus is a fount of mercy for us, I trust in thee. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus is a fount of mercy for us, I trust in thee. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus is a fount of mercy for us, I trust in thee. sharpen it. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right. There you go, bud. All right. Then there's one more thing that I waited to do to mine, and that is adding Jesus, I trust in me. I'm going to go ahead and just use a Sharpie to write it at the bottom. I would write it with a pencil first just so you get it straight. And, then and we're going to write right on top of this. 